Hello, my name is Jeff Rush, and this is a quick demonstration of restructured text, a stylized way of marking up plain text documents. Restructured text was developed in the Python community and is used for white papers, embedded markup for program source, and wiki pages, and to rapidly create slide presentations. Restructured text documents can be mechanically converted into HTML pages, PDF documents, and browser accessible slide presentations. We'll take a look at each of these choices, all from the same document. This is a restructured text document. At the top here we have the title of the document embellished with equal signs that indicates it's a title. We have what's called field list which is a series of names within colons. You can define your own for giving the author and date of the document. Uh, then you can put in there a directive that inserts the table of contents of your document when it's processed. And in this line we define a substitution that says where we see the word apple within vertical bars in your document please substitute in this graphical image. This lets you move the uh, URL or file name out of the uh, main text, making it easier to read. Uh, sections are named by putting uh, equal signs or some other punctuation underneath the names. So we have a section about hand-waving here. And then we move down here to where we an asterisk around something that we want to have uh, slightly emphasized, which in this case will be presented as italics, or with double asterisks over here, which will indicate that it is heavily emphasized, which will be boldface. Now I'm using Emacs text editor here. You'll notice that Emacs is smart enough with the RST extension module to colorize parts of the document here and to show boldface indeed as bold. Documents can also be used as, uh, as mentioned, slideshows. So here on the line here we can define a uh, mark a paragraph or sections of information to be a uh, handout. This means they do not show up in the slides, but they do show up if you print the document or in uh, uh, PDF documents. Great for building your slideshows up and just putting in your explanatory material. Uh, sections can be contain nested sections, subsection 1 here, and uh, we put a different level of hierarchy character, e a dash is underneath it. Uh, you can use any, any combination of five or six characters, but they have to be used consistently to indicate your levels. And here we have a table, a simple table as they call it, which defines headers and columns used for quick, quick simple tables. Moving down we have another section called definition success with a sidebar. This section here I've highlighted will be placed into a small box off to one side of your document. And here we have a bulleted list. I'm using pluses, you could use dashes or asterisks. You have apples, oranges, and lemons. And you'll notice I've used the vertical bar name that we defined up at the top, which means that this item in the list will have a small graphical apple placed to the right of it. And this is the other form of tables here, which are called grid tables. It's a li little more work to lay them out, but gives you more control over the precise uh, look. Section 3 is just another section. We go into uh, linking here. There's much more to linking, but just to be one of you, for example, we can mark the word posthuman with a trailing underline. This visually indicates that there's a link from this piece of text. Later down here, we can define a, the word posthuman with a leading underline, which indicates the destination of a link. And then to the right of that, we place the URL of where you would go. This causes the posthuman word to be marked in the text as a clickable link. Right above that here, we have a, another form of list, a numeric list. We put in, By putting pound sign periods here, it indicates that these will be automatically numbered for you. One, two, three. There's also forms for doing uh, uh, Roman numerals and such. And then at the bottom, I place a comment, which is it's a comment to restructured text processor. It, if you've used Emacs, you'll recognize that it basically provides uh, uh, directives to put the editor into certain modes. In this case, the restructured text mode for the highlighting, and there are certain uh, hand key, keys for uh, processing restructured text which is the next thing. Now, you've written your document here. You want to take a look at it without leaving the text editor necessarily. So I can hit the hot key to view this as an HTML document. Bring back the browser here. And this here is my document I, you, you were just looking at with the title at the top, the uh, field list here. The table of contents has been inserted for the sections. Scrolling down, we see the italics and bold, the table here. Here's that sidebar and the Apple graphic. And here's the posthuman link here, which takes me off to the python.org site. Now, we could also have seen this document 
as a PDF file. So I hit the hotkey for that, brings up the my PDF viewer. So here's the same document with table of contents inserted, different look and feel of course. Uses LaTeX. Table sidebar is not off to the side, it's, it's simply highlighted in the body of your text. And there's the Apple graphic and table. So we can see that you can do PDFs. The another form of presentation is uh, the, as a slideshow. So I hit a hotkey to take me into the slideshow, takes me into the browser. Here's that same document presented as the, uh, the slides with table of contents. I can hit a key and it takes me to the next slide. I can use the zoom in and out keys to make my slides uh, uh, fit on the screen, depending on what maybe presenter uh, presentation I'm using. And the sidebar is over here on the side highlighted. Uh, slides also give us the ability to very quickly jump around the documents. So over here, if I hover over the right side, it puts up a table of contents in my document. Really great for those live presentations where someone brings up a point about three slides back and you want to get back to it. So I can click on it and take me back there. And I can also uh, hit a key in the browser here and it will show me the slides along with my speaker notes on handouts. So during a slide you can uh, divert over and read your notes or your students can. Uh, this looks like something you might want to uh, take a look at. Please uh, check out this URL, DocUtils. Thanks for listening and look for future talks about restructured text and how it can be integrated into your Python programs. It is generally a useful tool to add to your toolkit. It, uh, the, what, it gets processed into a DOM and a document object model, which you can then programmatically extract or rearrange the text. Very fun. Thank you.